What is going on guys? Welcome to your 28th HTML5 tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to start teaching you guys how to customize your video player. And when I say customize your video player I don't just mean customize the way it looks. I mean customize the code behind it and the way it looks, the way it behaves, giving you complete control over every aspect of your video player. So we're going to be digging deep, breaking it apart, putting it back together. It's going to be pretty uh, intense. So. I want to mention this first. I ripped out everything in the body of our HTML file and also ripped out everything in the head. So I don't even have a CSS file or any JavaScript files. And this is it right here. So this is where we're going to start. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be eventually having a CSS file and a JavaScript file that's going to pretty much program the video player. So let's go ahead and link to those right now. And by the way, I'm on a new computer. So um, if I like mess up typing a lot, then that's my excuse because I change setups. So we'll see how this goes. So let's go ahead and just link to the style sheet first. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and keep the name main.css. Might as well stick with it since it works. So after this, what I'm going to do is I want to add that JavaScript file. Now we didn't create that JavaScript file yet, but we are going to soon enough. So script and just go ahead and the source for that is just going to be bucky.js for bucky.javascript and just go ahead and end that baby right like that. So now we're going to go ahead and create a style sheet called main CSS in a bucky.js file later on. But now let's go ahead and get to the good stuff, the body. Now in this website, I'm just going to have one simple video player. So I'm not going to have, you know, any articles or logos or anything. I just want to concentrate on the video player for now. So, whoa, what did I do there? I think I pressed home or something. Like I said, new keyboard, new computer, getting all this set up right now. So let me go ahead and start off with this. I'm going to have one main section and I'm just going to call this skin. So give it an ID of skin. And what this pretty much means is whenever you like download a program off the internet like a lot of music players the skin is pretty much the layout of it and you can have different types of skins you might have like a reptile skin or a forest skin it's kinda like the theme of it so that's what this section is right here it's gonna totally enclose our video player so that's what we're gonna be giving different colors and stuff like that so just remember the skin is pretty much the layout of your video player now what we need to do is we need to embed that video so I'm gonna go ahead and hit video and I know I showed you guys one way to embed a video on your website before but I'm gonna show you guys an alternate way right here so video let's go ahead and give this an ID of my movie and I'm also gonna give it a width of 640 and a height of 360 because that is the YouTube default and I like those settings. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video tag and you're saying okay that's nice but where do we give it the source? Are you forgetting attribute right here? Actually there is an alternate way where you can give the source to HTML5. In other words there is a different way that you can declare your source. That is between your video tags you can have a tag called source. Now source takes one parameter in this case it's src if you couldn't guess it's the source of your video so go ahead and hit videos and write a path to wherever your video is again if you forgot mine is named 34 dot mp4 and it's just a quick little video I made I think it's like a chemistry tutorial or something but if you don't have an mp4 video on your computer then you can just go ahead and write the full path http www dot and find one online and you can use that it'll work just fine so now that I'm gonna go ahead and clear my video under the video we aren't gonna use that default controls player for Google Chrome or whatever browser you're running we want to make our own custom controls bar on the bottom with our own buttons our own color our own progress bar all that stuff so what we need to do in order to do that is first add a navigation tag now navigation on a video player is pretty much the same thing as the controls bar on the bottom so go ahead and add nav nav and in between these nav tags remember is where all of our control things are gonna go our buttons our progress bar and some other stuff as well so let's go ahead and start off with the button. Now in this video player, I'm going to have one button. It's either going to say play 
or pause. Depending if your video is playing, then it's going to change to a pause button. If your video is paused or stopped, then it's going to change to a play button. You see how that works? So that's how a lot of video players do it now, and I'm going to show you the programming behind it. So let's go ahead and just add a div, and I'm going to add an ending div, and I might as well just go ahead and copy this three times because we're going to be having three separate sections. So let me go ahead and copy this put one div right there, one div right there, and one div right there. In the first div, I'm just going to give it an ID of buttons. So this is where our play button is going to go, and if we decide to you know, add a pause button or a fast forward button later on, it's always going to go in between these div tags. So the first thing I'm going to add is just a button tag, and it's going to have a type of button and this is actually going to make it a button like you would on an XHTML form and we need to give it an ID to identify this button. I'm just going to name it the play button even though it will change to a pause button. I'm not going to write play and pause button because that's way too much work. Don't have time for that. Now I'm just going to add the word play and this is the text that appears on the button and we can dynamically change this now even though it isn't inside an attribute or anything like that. I'll show you how to change the text and it's actually pretty cool and of course and our button so it knows where to end. So for now we're just going to have one button in here although we can add more later on and that's all we're going to write inside the first div section and remember put all of this inside your navigation. Now in the second div section what we need to add is that progress bar. Now if you watch a YouTube video, you know as you're watching the video, there's a little thing on the bottom that changes color. For example, if you're 25% through the video, then 25% is like a different color maybe, or maybe it's just a little icon that scrolls along with the video. That's what this is. So let's go ahead and give this an ID of ID equals default bar because we're going to set this to one color by default and then it's going to kind of change to another color as we're playing the video. So inside here what we need to write is another div and just go ahead and write div and I might as well go ahead and end it right now so I don't forget. So I'm going to go ahead and type this and then I'm going to explain to you guys what it means. I'm going to give this an ID of progress bar. They were saying, okay, this is interesting, and um, what the heck is going on? Well, what we have is our play button right here. That's all it is. Now, right here, we have our progress bar. So you're saying, okay, I know what a progress bar is, but why the heck did you put another bar inside it? Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a blank bar and say our bar is yellow or something. Now whenever our video plays we're going to have a separate progress bar inside that and that is going to be the thing that changes color and scrolls along with our video player. So it may be kind of hard to see what's going on right now but basically we're going to have it one color by default and another thing change size as the video is playing. And the last thing I want to do is I'm actually going to put these on the same line because the only thing I'm going to do is hit style equals clear both. Whenever we are done making our video player, this is just going to return our website to the default layout. So, um, you know, you definitely need this or else it's going to look funny. But, you know, this isn't really interesting or anything like that. So basically, make sure that you link to both your style sheet and your also JavaScript file. And in everything is enclosed in this skin, both your video and your control panel right here. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make everything look pretty, and uh, we're going to be creating that CSS file, but for now, that's all you guys get. And by the way, if you didn't follow along with this, I'm going to be putting all this code for this, the CSS file, and the JavaScript file on my forum, thenewboston.org or .com slash forum. So check it out there if you are too lazy to type it and you want it, but for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.